In today's video, I am going to tell you how can you create a UI Portrait Master workflow from scratch to final. In this video we are going to cover mostly everything step by step. So the node that we will use today is named Form Free UI Portrait Master. So what this node does is that whenever we create any portrait image with the help of AI. So this tool, for example, suppose it's gender, nationality, age, hair color, dress, etc. and many other things. It customizes it in detail and gives a realistic form to our portrait. So let's start. First of all, you have to install this note. So the first note is portrait. So, you have to install this Confi UI Portrait Master. The second note that we will use in this workflow is named Universal. Confi UI Universal Styler. So you also have to install this note Nest Motor Word Archive Confi. UI Mod Node. So these three nodes, you have to install them before starting this workflow. After installing these, we start creating the workflow. So first of all we will add the load checkpoint. So the model that I am going to use in this is the latest Juggernaut Excel. Latest version. I am going to use the model in this workflow. You can use any other SDXL model, and this works in SDXL as well. So the nest. Note that we have to open is the clip set last layer. Clip set last layer has to be connected to it and. We have to add minus 2 to it. So now we have to open the for node of the portrait master. Friend, I will open it. Portrait master. Base character. So the portrait master is the base character. So you can insert shots in it. Close up shot, pace, full body, fully embossed. And it is the skin details of the chat master. So what can be done in this node like natural skin? If you want natural skin then you can increase it. You can make it 2 as well or 1 and the skin details should be a little high. There should not be dimples. If you want dimples then you can increase it. You can make the moles, wrinkles, eye details high from here. So in this you can customize whatever you need for your work. The nest is styler. Portrait. Style and pose so this is the nest. What is there in it? Models pose. I mean there are many options given. Battle pose, banding pose, whatever you like. You can subscribe to this makeup. This is like type and like reaction and next last makeup. Makeup, so in this you can do makeup style, anime, classic makeup, anything of your choice, eyeshadow, eyeliner. In this entire. Notes, the portrait master does not have any background panel, so we add an astra panel. In this we can give some more details to the AI about our work, so the test. 
So this is the test. I opened this test node and added it with test in. If I want to change the background in it or want a black background, anything, then I can enter the command here. After this we have to select the seed. RGS3 and first connect all these seeds with all these. And this test from this, this test panel from this panel, this test panel from this panel and then we have our flip test encoder. We have to open it. Right click on it and convert our input into test and our test will be given to us. We have to connect it to this and we have to connect our clip panel to this. So we have to open a clip test encoder, another clip test encoder. This will be for our negative, a sampler. If you are using the same board which I am using in this workflow, then you can use these settings, steps 30 CG Avenue 4 point point. Sampler, you will have that DP MPP and this caress, you will have to connect it by doing MPT latent image. And we will write here, 1024 because we are using step axle. So 1024, 1024. So this our workflow is ready. So here for the output we will use another note, show test. So that we get an idea about what test result it has given. So we will. Right click on it and click on the selection output node. It has happened in the preview that a First of all, I add some bad ice, CGI, plastic, deform and watermark in the negative. So now we will run this and see what the result is. So the first shoot that we need is a close-up shoot, let's say of a woman. If you want to select the next or anything from this, ordinary face, I will make it ordinary maybe 24 Canadian. Body type fit, so you can see how many options you get in it. With the help of this panel, you can. Eyes, my love eye eye shade, lips color. Wanting lips, 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 lips. So, in this special expression happy, we select hair color like this. Red, air length, short wide, long wide. There is no need for this. We have done natural skin. Here's something as per our wish. Whichever character you want to create, you can do that with your lighting.
New sign cinematic lighting light form friend top right to left random selector Laker style. Photography is So you can see that this node has provided you with so many options with the help of which you can portray as you like. If you can render it, then we select some options in it and see what the final result is, then we run it. In which we have red hair, long, close up, short, woman, 24 Canadian we. So you can see how good the output it has given us, so to me it looks Asian, so I think. If I select the Ishan eye shape in this, then I will select a little oval eye shape from here. So that's why I had selected Canadian and she was Asian so maybe because of her eye shape, now we can choose our so look at this now what we want is we want the color of ice green hair color ice we take the ring in color So what it has done is it has made the eyes green. Let's do this and then we'll change it a little more. Full body portrait. So here I told you one thing that the tool in this is node. There is no option for background replacement. So for this I added a separate string. Whatever I add, we can change our background from here. Suppose I write black background. So finally our background has become black. This was the complete tutorial. Now with its help, you can make the portrait you want. So that's it for today, see you in the next video, thank you.